Harvest moon, shine down on me Spread your light for all to see In the darkness of the night Harvest moon, keep shining bright <coughs> Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and I'm a pale person if you couldn't see that already. So when I think of bronzer I kind of get intimidated. I'm not gonna lie. I have my favourites but I'm also constantly searching for a good bronzer. Today we are going to find out if Fenty is the answer. I'm super intrigued. Fenty brought out eight shades of bronzer and I really wanted to see if the pale shade really is pale enough for me. I'm hoping it is going to be and I expect it to be considering it is Fenty and they're very consistent with their shade range. I will swatch it and compare it to some of my favourite bronzers so you can have a shade comparison. We are going to be testing this on my face, we are going to be testing the texture, the colour mainly, and we can see if it's suitable for those pale princesses out there. But before we get into this video, if you are new to my channel and this kind of content intrigues you, then feel free to hit the red subscribe button down below and the little bell button next to it so you get notified of all my new uploads. And if you're like me and it takes you a while to subscribe to someone, I have to watch like 30 videos of theirs to decide to actually commit to the channel. I completely understand. Feel free to go through my other videos. You can see a little bit of my evolution on YouTube. <laughs> hopefully you like what you see and hopefully you stay tuned for all my future videos. But anyway, enough of me blabbing. I need to sort this moon face out and add a little bit of colour because I'm looking so flat right now. So let's get into this baby. So first off, I got this from HarveyNicholas.com. It was £23 and as I said, it came in eight shades. £23 is quite a steep price for a bronzer, but Fenty Beauty is more of the high-end to luxury kind of brand. I will be going through some of my drugstore favourites, we'll see if it compares to those. So it comes in the classic kind of Fenty Beauty packaging. I've obviously got this in the paler shade, which is India Sun. For reference, in the Fenty Beauty foundation, I'm the shade 110, so I'm very fair. <laughs> Literally, I think that's the second lighter shade. But yeah, let's get this baby open. Okay, so it's in the traditional hexagon packaging. I don't know my shapes. Okay, this could be an octagon. I don't friggin' know how many sides does it have. One, two, three, four. I don't know. It's 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 a shape. Okay, <laughs> I'm literally useless. And it's got the ooh. Hey, you can see me there. You can also see all of my mess. Okay, there it is. Hey. As I said. So it's got a gold outer packaging, but obviously it's trying to keep in with like the bronze theme, I'm assuming. It is very pretty packaging. The only thing that I don't like about these is that fingerprints just get instantly on them. They don't look pretty after a while. But yeah, it's got the classic Fenty Beauty logo on the front, and let's have a quick look inside. If I could get it open. Come on, you son of a. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, God. That was an effort and a half. Oh, okay. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It looks more like a neutral, cool undertone to the bronzer. So this may work actually very well. I do feel like this is actually quite different to my actual bronzers that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're gonna have to see how this works out on my skin. It has the cute little Fenty Beauty emblem on there and then it has a mirror with the Fenty Beauty underneath it. So it's quite cute little compact. Dang, my face is looking round today. <laughs> We need to get some bronzer on. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a bronzer brush and I'll be right back. So I know Fenty came out with new brushes to come with these bronzers, but I already have a lot of brushes. I didn't really need to buy any more, so I'm just gonna use my own. I've been loving using these kind of angled brushes, which they're pretty much a blush brush to be honest, but I love the fact that there's a little bit of taper to them. So I'm gonna use the Spectrum AO5 brush to apply this. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit to do this so you can see the application. All right, so you can see my shapeless face in all its glory. I literally look the same colour as my wall right now. <laughs> I'm so pale. Looking at my monitor is looking so dark compared to my skin tone. I'm hoping this is gonna come as a sheer application because this still looks quite intimidating even though it's the lighter shade. But let's not judge it too quickly I guess. Let's, let's try it on. Okay, not getting any fallout or anything. Doesn't look like anything's been picked up on the brush. Okay, I pretty much like to apply my bronzer where my contour is going as well just because it kind of adds a little bit of dimension So I'm going to just go on in I guess So there is some colour there. Ooh, hmm. It is a very neutral tone actually. I think I quite like that. Can you see that's just like added a little bit of shadow but also some warmth to my face? But not too much. Ooh, I may 
looking like this a lot. I feel like on camera I'm super duper washed out right now and I can't work out why. I'm just gonna try zooming you guys out and see if that will help. There we go, that's a bit better, that's a bit more true to colour. I don't know why zoomed in, it affected the lighting, but okay. But as you can see, this just added like a very natural warmth to my face. That is such a good colour. If you are very fair, this will probably be very good for you. Here's like a before and after. This side of my face is a lot chubbier than this side, but just for a comparison. The tone is like the perfect tone. And as you can see, it shears out on the skin. It does come off a little bit warmer on the skin than in the pan, but I prefer that because I felt like this as a bronzer really was gonna be too cool tone. And I thought it was gonna work more as a contour than an actual bronzer, but the way it's transferred on the skin, it has given me more of a bronze effect and given my complexion a little bit of a warm up, which I really needed. Let's go around the perimeter of the face and do the rest of it. It did pick up a little bit of my foundation around my hairline, but that may be the brush. So instead of like sweeping it, I just started patting around the edge a little bit and that seems to have helped. I'm having no issues with blending or anything like that. It's very smooth and it's not skipping in any areas. It looks really, really blended and really seamless. So far, I am very, very happy. I know you're not supposed to use bronzer for this, but well, I'm here. <laughs> Get rid of the double chin, please. Let's get into what I think about the bronzer, how it performed, etc., and also compare it to some of my favorites. All right, guys, so I just finished up with the other side of my face and added a little bit of blush, but I have no highlight on right now, and I'm wearing matte eyes. Who am I? <laughs> let's discuss this bronzer oh my gosh I think this has to be one of my favorite formulas that I've ever tried for a bronzer for one there's no kick up in the pan it barely even looks like I've touched it there's not even any brush marks in the bronzer at all it must be very hardly pressed in here because literally there is no budging I think what I like about it the most is the tone it is such a neutral tone it's not too warm it's not too cool it's that perfect color for pale skin like I feel like it almost has like a yellow base to it kind of leaves more of like a golden which is what I love because I go for yellow tone concealer foundations everything like that so this is perfect for my skin tone I don't know how it's gonna look on people with more pink undertones but personally for me it is such a good color I didn't add any contour or anything this is literally just bronzer and blush there's no powdery texture to my skin at all it's so strange it didn't feel like I was putting anything on my skin at all either this is such a lightweight product it did disturb a little bit around my hairline but again I think that might be the brush and I have I've had this foundation on for a quite a while now <laughs> but it looks so smooth on my skin it's really melted into my skin really nicely and it's just created like a veil of bronze all over my skin in such a nice way I haven't actually felt the formula so I want to feel it <laughs> it just feels like a straight-up powder it does swatch very sheerly as you can see there it doesn't really deposit a lot of color obviously this is a very buildable product though as you can see by my skin I was able to build it up to the intensity that I wanted but with bronze is that's the kind of product you want you don't want to have something too heavy and too pigmented because if you go in with a pigmented bronzer you're gonna end up looking muddy and it's not gonna be that flattering especially on pale skin it's just gonna be too much all at once and it ain't gonna be pretty <laughs> so I really appreciate that this is a buildable product in saying that this is 23 pounds which is quite expensive for a single bronzer like this do I think it's worth it I personally would pay that amount for this I do think it's a decent price point for the amount of product you get as well because it is quite a big pan and also just the formula is really good and obviously it's Fenty Beauty it's Rihanna it's gonna be a little bit more expensive but I feel like the actual quality does live up to the price however not everyone wants to spend that amount on a bronzer and I completely understand me included to be honest if I can save money then I will so I just wanted to go through some of my personal favorite bronzers. I do have one that's kind of on the higher end as well, and I'll just get this one out of the way quickly. This is the Jouer Bronzing Duo. This is in the shade Light Medium. I personally really like these. Comparing the two shades side by side, I would say the closest one to the Fenty Beauty in the Jouer, I'd say was the Suntan shade, which is like this darker one on the left here. I would say they're the most similar in tone. Again, Jouer's bronzers are really buildable. I'd say they have a slightly more 
satin finish than the Fenty one. The Fenty one is definitely a matte bronzer. That is what they look like side by side. The Fenty one is more of the matte side and slightly cooler in tone. And then the Jouer one has a slightly more golden undertone with a bit of a sheen to it. This is around about the same price, if not a little bit more expensive, but you do get two in here, so you get a bit more shade variation. If you're a lot fairer than me, this one on the right here is lighter, so it's going to be paler than the Fenty one. So if you're looking for a bit more option and you are very fair, then maybe try this one instead if you're looking for a higher end bronzer. But moving on to my more affordable ones. Now I've mentioned this one a few times on my channel and this is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. This is in the shade Golden Gal, which I believe is the paler shade. This one is a very warm tone bronzer, but it is so blendable. It is so buildable. It is such a good bronzer for the price. This is under £10. It feels so buttery in the pan. Oh my gosh. Again, this one is a little bit more warmer and this does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Again, there's no shimmer in these bronzers. I don't like shimmery bronzers personally for myself, but this does have like a little bit of sheen so it kind of gives a little bit more dimension to your skin and you're not completely flat. But that is it compared to the Fenty one. As you can see, it's a lot more warm toned, but it is such a good bronzer and it is so affordable. This is like my go-to bronzer when I just want to put on quick makeup because it's so easy to use, where I just want to show something through my crease and just all over my face. This is the bronzer that I pretty much go to the majority of the time. And then the final one is this contour kit, which is the Revolution Pro HD contour kit in the shade light medium. I've used this quite a lot on my channel recently, but it's just one of my favorites. And obviously there's a lot of contour shades in here, so I like traveling with this because I have bronzer and contour. But the color that I use to kind of warm my face is this one right by here. Pretty much looks like a face powder, doesn't it? <laughs> But for my skin tone, it works as a bronzer. It is very light. And again, this has a slight sheen to it. These are just so blendable and buildable. This one is quite fair. So if you are looking for a very fair bronzer, I would highly suggest this one. But that's it compared to the Fenty. I feel like this one has a little bit more of a pink undertone but it still works and it is very warming on the skin but yeah with all that said that is it for this video i hope you guys found this informative and it helped you make the decision on whether you feel like you're gonna buy this bronzer i'm definitely glad that i purchased this and i'm definitely gonna be using this quite a lot it's just such a good matte formula and oh my gosh it applies to the skin so well and gives such a nice look if you did enjoy the video then please leave a thumbs up so i know and i'll continue to do videos like this in the future to keep you up to date on all my videos please subscribe to the channel just click the red subscribe button down below and hit the bell button next to it so you get notified of the uploads anyone and everyone is welcome on this channel so please feel free to join i'm hoping i'm going to be able to get a lot of use out of this baby let's all hope for more bronzed summer days to come i am 100 percent ready for the warm weather anyway guys i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and i hope to see you on the next one till then bye guys i think what i like about the most I think I want, oh, I don't know how I'd look on more of a pink sco scone. Don't be putting bronzer on your scone, people. <laughs> it actually does swatch very, sh very surely. Uh -huh. First of all, first of all, now I've, I've mentioned this, this is the bronzer. Uh, I am, I am just, I am, uh, uh, eh.